Hello, good evening. Birmingham City Council has agreed to pay out more than £700 million in compensation to some of its female workers who are paid less than men for doing the same job. The illegal practice was going on for years until the women took their employers to a tribunal. The council doesn't have the money to pay the claims, so it's going to take out a huge loan, which will take 20 years to pay off. And it's warned that any services it doesn't have to provide by law might be cut. Our correspondent Mark Goff has the story. Today, the leader of Birmingham City Council spelled out just how much more money it needs to balance the books. On top of the £600 million a year savings in the government cuts, the council now has a huge bill compensating women workers who are paid less than their male counterparts for doing the same job. And it was going on for years until the women took the council to an employment tribunal. So what were the differences? Mrs K, for example, was a cleaner on grade one and she was paid almost £11,000. But Mr G, who was on the same grade and did a similar job, was paid more than £16,000. Mrs K is eligible for £15,000 compensation. Mrs H was a Grade 3 senior lunchtime supervisor and was paid just over £11,000. Her male counterpart, Mr H, was paid more than £30,000. Mrs H is in line for almost £20,000 compensation. In all, it adds up to £757 million, which the council has agreed to pay out. It doesn't have this money, so it's going to have to borrow it and pay it back at £75 million a year for the next 20 years. Money it can't spend on the services it provides. We are going to have to look to um, decommissioning services. So over this next 12 months or so, we will be looking at services, those that are um, uh, the statutory and to what level we have to deliver on statutory services, and we'll take some decisions on decommissioning services. There is no other way. Well, joining us now is Mark Goff. And Mark, um, clearly this is a huge amount of money. It seems like there isn't any other way. So what are the council going to cut exactly? Well, <clears throat> the short answer is we don't know because they don't know. And as he says, you know, there's no other way. They do need to make the cuts. But it's actually difficult to know what councils have to provide by law. There's not like a definitive list from, you know, the House of Parliament which says each council must, must do this. Uh, I spoke to the local government uh, association earlier. Now, basically, councils have to provide, you know, schools, swimming pools, libraries, etc. But there's no kind of definitive list. They don't say, oh, you've got to build 20 libraries or 20 schools, etc. Um, but what lo the law might say is, for instance, you might have to provide a library service or a reasonable library service so therefore the definition is quite difficult what, what's reasonable what must the council provide but basically they're going to go through everything if they don't have to do it by law anything is up for grabs and it might get chopped Mark thanks for that and uh, we, we've had uh, lots of views from you on this subject on our Facebook page Craig Gerling says how can they justify this money with the current cuts being made across the city it's a joke he says Yes, Paul Nicholson wrote, we are a compensation culture, money for nothing. However, genuine cases must get a payout. Uh, Karina Louise, she says maybe they should have considered it before they thought it was acceptable to pay men more than women on the same grade. And uh, Rob Kesey thinks it's only what they owe people for underpaying them in the first place. Thank you to everyone who got in touch and the debate continues on our Facebook page. Other news now, a five-year-old...